Hey folks, good morning. Rick here from La La Farm. I am out behind the greenhouse where our old bee yard used to be. We're moving it, setting it up elsewhere. Stay tuned. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be moving our uh, bee yard from behind the greenhouse where it used to be when there was no greenhouse here uh, over to closer to where the uh, um, water pump house is kind of across from the greenhouse so we used to have it sitting here we deconstructed uh, the bee yard eh, probably been six or eight months ago um, took the hives off um, frankly the hives had died and all that was left here was the pads on the ground so let me show you where we're moving it to all right we're over at the new bee yard let's see what uh, what I use to uh, set up this yard so I've got a couple of 4 by 8 by 10 uh, posts six cinder blocks this is just an old piece of tarp I think this was a mattress cover uh, I've probably had that seven or eight years and uh, that thing is just it's really really durable I'll show you how I use that a couple of horse pads these are just uh, what we used to use uh, uh, in the uh, in the goat barn um, we've taken them out and I've just I use them now to uh, basically keep weed control around the beehives and then we've got uh, these termite guards and these are for off-grade homes uh, they sit on to on the cinder blocks like that I'll show you how those go on there as well so let's get this yard put together go that's all there is to it the setup that we use um, been using this for about three years the purpose of those termite guards is to if you see there's some discoloration on the bottom one that has a a uh, substance that is really really sticky almost tar like uh, that I spread uh, on, on the underside of it and that keeps ants or anything from traversing up those posts um, I probably need to reapply it this year. It's about two years since I put it on there. Um, but I don't have any right now, so I gotta order some more. Uh, and then I'll just basically take a stick, spread it on the underside of the bottom termite shield. Um, I could probably put it on the top one as well. We didn't before, uh, but that's all there is to it. So I've got, uh, it looks like at least one swarm that's been caught this year. I'm gonna try to move that one today. Uh, and it looks like I've got two more. Uh, all of these swarm catches this year are unintentional. It's just basically old equipment that I had uh, sitting um, 
for future use so that's all we're going to do for this one this is setting up the bee yard so the next one will probably be moving uh that swarm into a new home so folks always remember treat others as you would like to be treated take care be well bye-bye